Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to sideload game applications, basically hack your Oculus Quest or MetaQuest as it's called now, MetaQuest 1, MetaQuest 2, I mean the you know the Oculus Go, MetaGo I guess if it, they're calling it the MetaGo and when the MetaQuest Pro headset comes out it should work for that as well. So I'm going to show you all of that jazz and how to actually get it done. First of all, what you need to do is enable developer mode on your headset and you generally would do this via your phone. I'm gonna just switch over to the phone now and enable developer mode. Okay, so let's set our Oculus Quest into developer mode. So this can be Quest 1, Quest 2, I mean you could do this with the Oculus Go if you're still using that device as well and I guess you could do it with the Quest Pro that will be launching very soon as well and this is great if you want to make games, you want to make apps, plus if you want to do stuff like side load games, applications, mods, using something like side quest, you need to make sure it's in developer mode. Okay so the first thing that you need to do is open up your web browser and you need to search for Oculus Developer Dashboard, I've already got it there. Click on the first link, I'll provide a link in the description and this step can actually be done via the you know via, via your laptop but the remaining step which is to enable developer mode has to be done on your phone and it has to be connected to the account that you use to not the actual phone but the actual MetaQuest app it's called MetaQuest now so if you haven't used it for a while and it was called Oculus Quest it's called MetaQuest now make sure that app is updated to the latest version and make sure it's on the same account that you originally used you'll be using that particular app. Okay, so first of all, we need to create an organization. This is for developing purposes. Even if you are sideloading, you still need to do this because you need to create an organization to be able to in enable developer mode. So this is very important. And in the bottom left, you'll see an icon. If you click that, and now the, it expands up. If you're on like a bigger screen, like a laptop or a computer you probably won't need to do that from here in the org manager click the drop down or hide the keyboard click create as you can see I've got loads of organizations always end up creating a new one every time I do you know a video like this click create and just put you know the organization so I'm gonna put I am Superman yeah whoa that's already taken I am Superman 123 seems to be available Click I understand, and I'm going to close this menu, click submit, and click agree, submit, and that's it, let's just confirm, yes, it's created, that's it, that's all you need to do on your account. If you went to this website, the developer dashboard, it wasn't logged in, so if I go to incognito, Oculus developer dashboard, if this appeared for you, Just click login and login using whatever method you want. You can use Facebook, Instagram, or just you know a separate email address. I just used Facebook, but it doesn't really matter. So if that comes up, just do that, and then you'll come to this menu, and then from here you can create the organization. Next step, this is the final step. Go to the MetaQuest app. Again, remember make sure that is updated to the latest version. And I recommend that your Oculus Quest or Oculus device is also updated to the latest version as well. So if I open that up, in the bottom right, there's the menu button. Click that and go to devices. And in here from the drop down, as you can see, it's selecting MetaQuest 2, which has connected. If you have a different one, just select the drop down and select the device. If I scroll down, there is a developer mode option. Click that. Developer mode. If I click the checkbox on the or is it, it's, it's a toggle button, like a radio button. Yeah, it's a toggle button on the right hand side. If I click that, that's it. You are now in developer mode. There is nothing more to do. So you can just check, make sure if I was to close it, reopen it, go to menu, devices, scroll down, developer mode. That's it. We are in developer mode. Okay, we are now back. So developer mode is now enabled on our headset. Now all we have to do is download a side quest. So if I go to my browser, the other thing is we're gonna have to connect this up to our PC. 
just also bear in mind this is on the mac i'll have separate sets of videos for linux and windows this video is not condoning piracy if you are putting stuff on there i recommend that you buy it and you legally own it okay so first of all i'm gonna go to amazon just to show you so if you type in anchor 56 ohm and you might be thinking what is this and i thought put in usb c cable and this is one of the type of cables that i would recommend and the 56 ohm which is the resistance it works really well with the quest you can use the quest cable that came with it which is usb c to usb c so if you've got something like a new macbook like the m1s the m1x the m2s that sort of stuff you can just plug it in usb c you know plug it into your headset you're all good to go i got this uni cable super long it's also usb c to usb c if you do want usb a to usb c some cables are iffy anchor you green those cables i do recommend they work really well so if you also type in oculus something like this with the 56k on pull that will suffice and it, you know it works really well if you also want a sort of like an extension then i recommend one of these you green extension lead and do not necessary for this video or for i'll cover it and it is it is not good. usb okay the exact one that i'm looking for is not the cheapest but it is super super good unless they've stopped selling it well it's the u green one i'll put a link in the description great for stuff like oculus link not the cheapest extension leader there and you can actually provide some extra power if you want to but it works really really well so that's what i would recommend and actually let's go ahead and reopen up this just search for side quest i'll provide a link in the description to this so feel free to check it out go to get side quest you want to go to the get at the advanced installer so i'll be doing videos on the easy installer as well and this is up to date as of late 2022 i know things have changed so i'm creating new video for all platforms let's go down here select mac os x you'll start downloading i've already got it downloaded so i'm going to cancel this and now what we are going to do is close this down and double click the dmg file that was downloaded drag side quest onto applications mono say do i want to replace it I've already got it but I'll click yes shouldn't take long there we go now let's launch it up side quest you so I press command space you can go to you can do go to this pane here or go to the search up here and type in side quest launch it up and click open so obviously make sure your headset is on Make sure developer mode is enabled as we enabled it earlier in this video. And the other thing to bear in mind is if you're a developer and you've got something like Android Studio open, especially with an emulator open, SideQuest can get confused and can connect automatically really fast to that device. You'll be something like something G Phone. If you have that issue, just close down like Android Studio, for example. And you'll be able to connect to your quest headset because you'll try and install it to the emulator you'll successfully install it but it's not to your headset so that's what you want to make sure so it says it's not detected because i haven't plugged it in yet so let's plug it in so i'm going to plug in one end on my laptop pc computer whatever and one end onto my headset also another thing to bear in mind if you're using one of these battery pack you know straps if you try and plug it into here where you will charge the headset and the battery pack, it doesn't do data. So you're going to need to unplug it from here just temporarily and plug it here. That's just a little, you know, tip and trick. No caveat. Shouldn't take long. It's gone green. If it doesn't go green and it's gone orange and it's asking for some permission, you literally put your headset on. You grab one of your controllers. I'm saying it now, actually. Allow connected device to access files click allow and just you know allow anything that it you know requires
I think I am in password. I'll we'll deal with that in a second. Okay, so that's enabled. So that's it connected to SideQuest to actually load games, make sure it's, you know, you've got it continuously connected. You just either find a game on here, if you've got an APK, you can just drag and drop it onto here, like onto the SideQuest logo, you'll start installing it and a little progress thing will pop up here. So let me download something, Physics Playground. And so click. Is, the, is it available via side load? That's the one. Download app. Don't do itch, just do side load. And it's installing. Go up here. So, first of all, it is downloading the APK. Just wait for that to download and then it'll copy over. So, yeah, like I said, make sure you have a good quality cable. Anchor, Ugreen, these uni cables are good. And, or you can use the official one that comes with it. The other tip and trick make sure your power strap adapter is not connected because it does not transfer data and you will need to connect it directly that's just for the transfer part and then you can unplug it and reconnect your battery pack afterwards if you want to and other than that you just install your games you can install apk and the accompanying obb files I'll do separate videos on that. I've got some old videos. Feel free to check them out, but I will create all updated videos as well. And now it's going to install it. Depending on how big the game is, the installation may not take as long as the download. I mean, depending on how fast your download speed is, I mean to say. And that's it. So I can actually disconnect this. And let me show you. Hmm, one second. I'm having a little issue where I'm literally just getting constant path through. <laughs> so I'm just going to manually power this down and then manually power it back up. And what I will do. Make sure that it's all loaded. Clear Guardian. Uh, set the floor. Confirm. Switch to stationary boundary. Confirm. Boom. There we go. That's all good. But what I'm going to do now, and I'll show you where to actually play the game. It's slightly different. I'm going to open up. I'll open up Safari. That's fine. And I'm going to search for Oculus Cast. You don't need to do this. This is just so. So I can actually cast my. Okay. I will launch up this. Oculus Cast. Okay, so I'm going to cast this over, so you can actually see what I'm seeing. Okay. 
So it should appear any moment now for you to see on the screen. Oh, this is only works if you're on the same network, and here we go. Okay, so so what you want to do to actually launch a game up, you go to the app library, go to this drop down here, go to unknown sources, and there we go. Obviously, I've got a bunch of other stuff, and you go to physics playground. If you want to delete it, click the three dots, uninstall. There was a time when he initially came out side quest. You had to only store on side quest, which was annoying. If I click that, and there we go. And you should still get to see what I'm seeing. Yep, you can still see it. That's the side load applications, games onto your headset. I put my other controller. First time I'm actually playing this game, I saw it the other day, and I was like, this looks pretty darn cool. Just got some pretty good physics. Yeah, the Admiral. It's definitely something you want to stand up and play. I deal with oh there is Oop, I'm gonna click this now <laughs> okay so that is how you set up the side quest application on your Mac if you want to do it on Windows and Linux I've got separate videos covering that so feel free to check that out if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group it's a nice little community with almost 8,000 members that just help each other if you have any you know if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye